Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. We're not gonna do a whole lot of talking in this intro, we're just gonna jump right into it. We're working on the log arch today. We've got a bunch of miscellaneous parts. Get the welder fired up and get going on this. Still loving, coldest water bottle by the way. Let's see if we can get this thing running and we'll go from there. Go over kind of a parts list of what we've got today. We've got several hooks we're gonna add. These are actually sent to us by a guy named Spencer. So Spencer, appreciate the hooks. There are four of them in here. We've got several D-rings, some clevises, some more D-rings. You see the chain and this. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this. She's been sitting for a little while, so I'm guessing she's probably dead. Oh yeah, super. Sure, you guys want a close-up, you can judge all you want. Second time ever, second time ever stick welding, and it looks, let's just call it progress for now. Let's just call it progress. That side's not quite as nice. Anyway, instead of going upside down, I'm just gonna flip the thing over and do that. Making progress though, that excites me. I guess it would make sense to go ahead and weld the weld the top part of the uh, top part of the chain on while we're over here. Here you go for your critique. All right, now let's flip it over. that go ahead and insert the grinder and paint joke here somewhere that's fine i tried to touch just a little bit you can't see in there i tried to get just a little bit on the back side of that hook too but it looks like good penetration we'll see we'll find out longer on what we're going to do that one next
So we got both chains on and both hooks on, and I kind of started messing with that rod just a little bit on this side, trying to get it back together. I've got a bunch of rebar. I think what I'm going to end up doing is a truss pattern inside here to uh, kind of strengthen that up just a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. The next step is going to be, where are you at? Nope. Yeah. These two. So while we've got it upside down, the next step is to get these on the bottom side like that. We're going to put one on each end. We're going to put one here. One right there. So we got both of those on there, and they look like they hang. Look like they hang pretty decent. I think they'll work fine. I think I got enough passes on. There's it'll be one way to find out. They're not the prettiest, but. And then this one up front. I am out of cutting wheels and grinding wheels, so I've got to run to town. Try to get my money's worth out of that one. I got to run to town and get a few of those things but before i go i want to open up yeah i want to open up this winch see what all is in here see if i need anything to go with that too so we can keep going on this project all right hook some bolts probably i'll put those somewhere okay Okay, bud. Gosh dang. There goes half my lift capacity. See how the bottom looks and what we gotta do to mount this. Let's just let's take it out to the other part of this. Let's set it on another piece and, and see how it looks. The idea is right in there. I gotta get this. Got uh, a couple grinding wheels. Got a pack of cutoff wheels too. Whoops. Got a pack of cutoff wheels too. I love Diablo saw blades, but I've never tried to cut off wheels, so I'm gonna try them. And uh, not a sponsor, not a sponsor yet anyway. But I thought I'd try it. I like the saw blades. Might as well try it for a cutoff wheel. Anyway, I got just a little bit of time left this evening. I'm gonna see if I can't straighten out this top support. The long-term plan is to, uh, what I'm gonna do is take some rebar and do kind of a truss pattern in here to stiffen this up. I'm gonna reinforce it a little bit, but I wanna get straightened out first. 
these welds here are all broken so i'm just going to try to beat that in submission there I'll take a strap from here, maybe down there, see if I can't pull it over. We'll grind that out and just re weld that. We may run some supports down from here to here. So I finally got that a little bit better. I ended up blowing through this pipe. This was all rusted out and really thin in here and blew through it. So I added just a little bit of plate there. And it looks, well, it looks terrible, let's be honest. But strength-wise, it should be a lot stronger. It's sitting on that plate. It's all straight. I went ahead and cleaned these up real quick. I think what I'm going to end up doing to make this point super strong is take a piece of rebar, weld it along here, have it bend, and have all of them come up and meet right here in the point. So you have four pieces one, two, three, four. But for the time being, I'm kind of out of daylight for today. So I'm going to head back to the house, have some chili. I think that's what we're having for dinner tonight. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Beautiful morning. Sun coming up over the Kentucky ridges there. Gorgeous. Anyway, we're going to see if we can get going back on this thing. I got, um, I got some rebar pieces over there. We're going to do exactly what we talked about. After running all day yesterday, expect this old thing to fire right up for us. Shouldn't give us any problems. But that's typically what you say right before you have a problem, I suppose. Let's see what we got. these two on tacked up and in place and we've got these two on and I just trimmed the tops of them. I'm going to see if I can get them beat over and tucked into here. I'm trying to get this all as compact as possible. So that didn't turn out too terrible. I mean out of a 10 let's call it a 6 at least huh bud? Not bad. It's all nice and together. You guys are getting a kick out of these welds, so we'll be sure to get you plenty of close-ups of that. These over here didn't turn out too awful. We'll call that high school shop class level, maybe. Maybe. I just stitched these, but the whole reason we did this again just to add some strength to this point. Also, there's a lot of flex in this joint and this joint here. So that should take quite a bit of the flex out here, and in a little bit, we'll flip this thing over. Add some more scrap steel on the back side of this and try to take the flex out of that. But the next thing we're going to do is reinforce and straighten out this little truss section on top. I'm just going to time lapse you for that. We'll take a look at the finished results. We're not going to get crazy here. We're just going to add a little... Also, I think that'll probably be enough. I think it just needs to touch here where the wheel actually contacts the frame. I think from here to about here where it'll overlap the support from that rebar we added to protect that, protect that seam. So. So I have asked for suggestions on tools throughout this video, and I just want to throw this out there. 
like I mentioned, I'm very new to welding. So if there's something I'm forgetting about or something that you use that you absolutely love when you weld, be sure to leave that in the comments as well. And of course, as always, feel free to reach out. Instagram, Facebook Messenger, my email is always in the description. You can check that out as well. I always appreciate any help and suggestion you guys have to offer. Now, right now I'm learning a very valuable lesson. I cut a piece of steel, put it in there to reinforce that, and you're watching me burn rod after rod after rod. There were some really big gaps. I didn't think it'd be that big a deal to close it up, and I was wrong. I'll talk about it a little bit more detail coming up, but so you guys can kind of see what's going on. That is a... So that was a very valuable learning curve for my first fabrication project. You really gotta take into consideration the accuracy of your cut, otherwise you're gonna use more welding rods than they did on the Empire State Building to try to fill some gaps. And uh, you really need to consider access to the weld because that was, listen, you guys saw the time lapse. I think we can all agree. There's no benefit of actually getting a close up of what happened down there. No need at all. So, in fact, I was so frustrated I didn't even put the other one on yet. I'm going to recut the other one a little bit later, but I want to move on to something else. Just keep the progress and motivation going. I had this little handle contraption to connect it to the tractor before. I wasn't super happy with that, and I had a few suggestions. You just put a hitch on it, and I think that's exactly, exactly what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can get this thing on there. got the hitch on you guys saw me welding the, that's still just a touch hot we'll just pick her up but she saw me welding the bottom side over there anyway test pass great this is all done on this end except for i added this support i haven't done that one yet but i need to get that done but just for the sake of getting this done i've only got about another half day left this week to work on this i want to go ahead and get this side going which is going to be getting the winch mounted the rollers mounted i told mike i'd move some equipment for him this afternoon so i gotta go get that done real quick which is probably nice i'm kind of at a point where i'd like to walk away from this for just a second so i can come back with a fresh fresh feel good attitude on the project and we'll keep going all right so we're working on the winch mount and i actually picked up some fresh new steel i know i know big spender anyway i pretty much got it all cut down to how it's going to go it's just four inch c channel and I cut the flange off that side because of the height difference on here. So that'll go all right like that. I still got to do some cleaning on this. And then the second piece of C-channel will slide on there just like that. See if we can get this all welded up and then uh, see if we can get that winch on there. Take a look at these. I feel like I'm making progress. And I'm supposed to meet up with man behind the scenes next week. And he's gonna take me to welding school. He's gonna do a video on his channel. But I feel like we're getting there. Anyway, we're gonna try to get that winch mounted real quick. It did not come with a template for the bolt holes, which would have been super handy. Got this. Let's find a different piece of paper. Try this piece of cardboard here. Just trying to make. 
make a real quick template here for my bolt holes. Okay. Good old screw pencil, can't beat that. All right. Yeah, I know they make punches, but they also make screws and splitting molds. So that leaves us with, oh, where's that? There, a little indentation. That's gonna be our mark for a driller hole. Let's just double check that those are even. They look real good. Where's the other indentation right there? Yeah. Those look really good. Whoa. Hey, I need my drill bit back. So we just set the winch up here, ready to go ahead and put the bolts on. And uh, you guys ready for a good laugh? I am. I could use a good laugh. Are you ready? Watch this. You see the, the bolt holes? You see? Ready? You see that? You see where it, you see where it doesn't fit? You see where it doesn't fit? <laughs> Listen, I have one, but um, you know, I forgot some crucial measurements on the top clearance. I don't think it's too big of a deal. What I'll do is I'll just take a piece of angle and just, you know, over and over and over, and they'll catch that bolt hole and that bolt hole, and I'll just have to drill one and two there, and one and two there, and that should be fine. It is kind of frustrating. I was hoping to get done today, but that's definitely not gonna be the case because I'm out of cutoff wheels and time, and the power is out at the house, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. We'll make her work. But look how nice that's going to tuck up in there, huh? That's going to tuck up in there real nice. So we've got that to go yet. I've got these little doodads here. Those are going to go underneath to kind of help hold that whenever we winch to keep me from sliding on the tractor. And I know some of you are thinking, that guy has no idea what he's doing. You're not wrong. I really don't. I've modified a few implements before, but I've never, never tried to make anything from scratch before like this. Not, not metal-wise, not metal fabrication. This is my first rodeo. It really is. And uh, man, a lot of learning curves on this one. So you're not wrong. The only mistake I'm really making is for whatever reason, I decide to share this with the world on the YouTubes. And uh, man, I don't know. I guess as long as you guys are laughing and smiling and getting something positive out of it, that's what matters. So as far as the welding goes, this is the second time ever I've tried to stick weld on this project. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Yeah, some of those might break and they definitely don't look the prettiest, but if I have problems with them, I'll grind them out, I'll re-weld them. I've got the welder and I'm pretty excited about that. Also, the welder's been doing great. The battery is dead that first day. It's been sitting for a month or so, but ever since then, running that first day, it fires right up, no problem. Also, a lot of you are gonna suggest that I get with man behind the scenes, Aaron Boom, uh, he's a union boiler maker, to help him, or have him help me learn how to weld. I agree 100%, so does Aaron. In fact, I think it's next week. We're supposed to get together over at Mike's and he's gonna do a how-to welding for a beginning uh, kind of welder course. There's a lot of how-to for beginner welders on YouTube, but this will be a really cool video because this will be a how-to for beginner welders with a union boiler maker, man behind the scenes, showing a guy like me who has no experience or hardly any experience with welding how to weld. So you'll actually get to see bad habits being corrected right in front of you on the video and i think that's going to be pretty cool and very helpful to a lot of people but i'll say this for taking an old broken bent i mean there's not a straight piece of metal on that thing there's still not a straight piece of metal on that thing to be honest with you taking that old log arch that i got for free some scrap rebar some scrap steel for mike's scrap pile on that one new piece of c channel and uh, jeep what was that a 77 cj7 jeep frame that i cut up and used for the other end of it it's pretty cool. It probably would have been a lot easier, especially with me not having a lot of welding experience to go get spank new steel all clean and straight and looking good. But I don't know. I just, I have a hard time throwing old stuff away. And I really, really enjoy repurposing things and making them into something new. So I'm pretty excited about that. 
the really good news here, the really, really good news is I go into shift tomorrow and then I'm off for almost three weeks. So we've got a lot of time to get a lot of things done. I'm hoping that includes ICF for the YouTube yacht. My frustration level is going up just a little bit. The guy, I ordered it two weeks ago. It's supposed to be two weeks and um, nothing, nothing yet. So I'm getting slightly frustrated, but that's okay. It'll all work out. You can't get too mad about uh, a delay on a steamboat shaped cabin in the woods. I mean, it's kind of hard to take something like that serious. Anywho, I'm going to get my mess cleaned up again. Just heavier chains, heavier hooks. We got the D-rings some reinforcement all free scrap metal i guess we did buy the hitch and this really i think it's gonna fit nice it's just i wanted the weight of the hitch as close or the weight of the winch as close to the tractor as possible and it's just gonna fit in there really nice i'm really happy about it i really am i think it's gonna be awesome hope you guys think it's gonna be awesome too and just you know stay tuned to the channel and you'll find out soon enough you really will appreciate you guys watching i really do mean that especially your comments your comments especially on a day like today i keep getting comments from the last video i put and there's just stuff that's making me smile and make me laugh and it really helps keep me going whenever i get kind of frustrated on projects like this so i do appreciate that it means a lot to me it really does anywho enough rambling for now thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one